WikiHow Youth Lot 30. Chrome forward slash forward slash new tab forward slash. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash be dash serious. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash be dash proactive. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash be dash a dash responsible dash teen. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash accept dash blame dash when dash you dash deserve dash it. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash be dash tolerant dash of dash others. HTTPS colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash demonstrate dash responsibility. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Wikihow is where trusted research and expert knowledge come together. Learn why people trust Wikihow. Personal development. Maturity. How to be serious. PDF download download article. Methods. 1. Staying focused. 2. Prioritizing tasks. 3. Maintaining a mature and professional demeanor. Plus show 2 more. Other sections. Video. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by Guy Richard. Last updated, the 10th of October, 2023. Fact checked. Do you want to live a more serious, grounded life and have people take you more seriously? Being serious is a state of mind that can help you stay focused and make healthier, more rational decisions. It can also help you grow professionally and develop better relationships. Check out the tips below to learn how you can start living more seriously and start commanding the respect you deserve. Method 1. Staying focused. PDF download download article. 9. Step 1. Train your brain. 1. Train your brain. If you have trouble staying focused, it can help to think of your brain as a muscle, and just like the rest of your muscles, it needs to be exercised to be effective at its job. 1. Set aside a time of day to practice focusing on a single task. Start small just take a few minutes at first each day to really make yourself fully focus on single task. If and when you find your mind wandering, Immediately return to the task at hand. If you realize you've drifted off task, that's half the battle. Remove distractions and focus more by practicing mindfulness and presence. Since we can notice all sorts of distractions in our daily lives, make a list of the most common distractions we experience and make a real or mental note to remove them from our environment. 11. Step 2. Realize that everything you do has a result. 2. Realize that everything you do has a result. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. What you choose to do does have consequences often in ways you can't foresee or possibly know of. Being serious involves recognizing what most needs your attention, and focusing on it. Always avoid procrastination. Not only does procrastinating cause stress and contribute to depression and anxiety, it can be a major factor in reducing overall productivity and leading to unintended consequences. 2. Example, I need to trim a dead tree branch hanging over my house. Instead I decide I'll do it later and play a video game now. Later that day, my friend calls, and desperately needs a ride from the airport. The branch doesn't get trimmed. That night there's a huge windstorm.
the branch falls and punches a hole in my roof. Now, instead of simply trimming a tree branch, I have to get my roof fixed, too. Take care of what needs attention first you may regret it if you don't. 13. Step 3 Reduce the need to multitask. 3. Reduce the need to multitask. Multitasking makes us feel like we're being productive, but in reality too much multitasking can cause distraction and lessen our effectiveness. Take each task individually, get it done, and move on to the next. 14. Step 4 Tackle your most difficult tasks first. 4. Tackle your most difficult tasks first. Getting the most difficult or least pleasant tasks out of the way first will give you a huge boost and reduce the possibility of procrastination. After getting the biggest obstacle out of the way, the other items on your list will seem like a breeze. 3. Tell us what you think. What type of task scheduling do you find most effective for staying focused? Setting aside a specific time of day to focus on a single task. Starting small and gradually increasing the time spent on a single task. Removing distractions and practicing mindfulness. Avoiding procrastination by tackling tasks immediately. Prioritizing difficult tasks first for a productivity boost. 42 Total Votes Method 2 Prioritizing Tasks PDF Download Download Article 15 Step 1 Make a List 1. Make a list Make a list the night before of the day's tasks in order of urgency and importance. If you have a smartphone, then you have a powerful organizational tool at your fingertips. There are many useful apps for creating a concise and helpful to-do list. Using an app can also help you keep your lists organized, rather than creating a sea of paper. 4. Remember, put the most difficult tasks at the top of your list. 17. Step 2. Get up in the morning and make your bed. 2. Get up in the morning and make your bed. Starting the day with a positive accomplishment, however small, gets the ball of accomplishment for the rest of the day rolling. Then look at your prioritized list. Take each item one at a time, and let each task completed be a segue into the next. After each task is accomplished, the next words out of an effective and serious person's mouth are, what's next? Let that be your mantra. Always ask yourself, what's next? 18. Step 3. Allow yourself a short break from time to time. 3. Allow yourself a short break from time to time. But don't get sidetracked. Specify what your break will entail. Think, I'll finish this episode of my favorite show while I eat this banana, then back to the task at hand. Stick to it once you let yourself slide off the schedule, it's a slippery slope to accomplishing nothing at all. 19. Step 4. Use your time wisely. 4. Use your time wisely. Recognize that time is finite, and think of it as a resource. Be aware of the time you spend on a task. Don't become so swept up in mundane details that you waste time on things that don't matter. Ask yourself, how is the time I'm spending on this advancing me toward my goal? 5. Be able to put things aside that are holding you back from accomplishing what you set out to accomplish, or, if the way you've chosen to go about a task isn't working, try something else. Be flexible, be malleable. Be able to bend without breaking. 20. Step 5. Know how far you can go. 5. Know how far you can go. Knowing your limits isn't limiting, but freeing. Accepting that you have accomplished tasks to the best of your abilities is hugely rewarding. Remember, 
completing any task gives you a boost to accomplish more. Take simple steps, and continue to do so, and over time you will accomplish a great deal. 21. Step 6 Understand the rules of the game. 6. Understand the rules of the game. Some rules can be changed and others cannot. Having the grace to change what you can and accept what you cannot is huge in being a more serious person. To fret over mundane details of life you wish could be different, but no deep down cannot, is to limit yourself. When you come upon an immovable obstacle, go around it, and proceed on your course. Method 3 Maintaining a mature and professional demeanor. PDF Download Download Article 22. Step 1 Look ahead, not back. 1. Look ahead, not back. As we grow older, we tend to want to hang on to youthful behaviors. Everyone goes through periods of conflict between the desire to be carefree and just have fun, and being mature and responsible. Let's face it often being mature and serious is the less immediately pleasant way of living life. However, being more serious in life involves realizing that the long-term benefits of being responsible and taking care of business outweigh hedonistic pleasures. Wake every day with the intention of being mature. Be aware each morning that some of the decisions ahead in your day will involve foregoing fun in favor of accomplishment. 24. Step 2 Consider your social stature. 2. Consider your social stature. If you want to be serious, be aware of how your everyday behavior reflects that. You are how you act, so making the effort to be serious and mature in your actions throughout the day, even the small things, is important to truly being serious. 25. Step 3 Be in control of your emotions. 3. Be in control of your emotions. One of the most important part of being mature is having the ability to control your emotions, rather than them controlling you. 6. Consider your feelings carefully before acting on them. Act, don't react. When you behave with maturity, you're using the rational and reasoning side of yourself rather than the animalistic, instinctual side. When someone speaks to you, especially in moments of conflict, pause and consider your reply with a cool head before responding. What first pops into your head isn't always the best thing to say. Think before you speak. Apply that to actions especially. Actions speak louder than words, so be especially aware of how your actions reflect on your level of maturity. Do you act only after coolly thinking out your course? or do you react without consider the consequences? 27. Step 4 Love Yourself 4. Love Yourself Part of being mature is recognizing that you have worth. It's often easier to beat oneself up over mistakes than to learn from them. 7. If you want to be more mature and live a more serious life, make the effort to respect yourself and value yourself. Treat your body with respect. Eat well, and get plenty of exercise and sleep. Keep friends who value you, get rid of people who don't. Friends will respect you and understand that you are special for being you. Everyone crosses paths with people who do not do those things. You have no obligation to keep them around. Part of maturity is making the tough decisions about who we associate with. Tell us what you think. In your experience, does eating healthy make you feel better? Yes. No. 31 total votes. Method 4. Taking pride in yourself and your appearance. PDF download download article. 29. Step 1 Be self-aware, as opposed to self-conscious. 1. Be self-aware, as opposed to self-conscious. Being self-aware doesn't mean you are being shy or embarrassed, 
aspects we usually associate with self-consciousness, but that you have the capacity to reflect on yourself, both inwardly and outwardly. 30. Step 2 Practice Good Hygiene 2. Practice Good Hygiene Taking pride in oneself enough to practice good hygiene is important in being a serious and meaningful person. It is also healthier and will simply help you feel good. Keep your hair and fingernails trimmed. Brush your teeth at least twice daily. Practicing good oral hygiene not only shows others that you are a serious and put-together person, but it also helps protect against bacterial infection and is beneficial for your health overall. 8. 32. Step 3 Wear clothes that you like, neatly. 3. Wear clothes that you like, neatly. Wear clothes that you want to wear, and that are neat, is important in showing that you are a serious person. It doesn't have to mean that you are vain or overly self-conscious, but simply that you care enough about your own well-being to take care of yourself. Method 5. Remembering the Golden Rule. PDF Download Download Article. 33. Step 1. Be helpful to other human beings. 1. Be helpful to other human beings. It is so easy in today's world to become focused on me that we often forget that one of the most rewarding and productive things we can do is to focus on the well-being of others. When you are helpful to others, even in small, everyday ways, you will find that your overall sense of your own well-being will greatly increase and your confidence in the tasks and goals you have before you will be much greater. Greater confidence in yourself and your own abilities results in much higher personal productivity, and, in turn, will help you to become a more serious person. 35. Step 2 Volunteer 2. Volunteer Get involved in local volunteer opportunities. In 2013 alone, over 62 million Americans engaged in some form of volunteer work. 9. Do you have a soft spot for kids? For old folks? For animals? Maybe you'd like to help maintain trails at a local park, or feed the homeless in a soup kitchen. Volunteer opportunities abound everywhere, especially in urban centers. Even a couple hours a week, or even a month, can help give you a sense of focus and purpose in your life. Volunteering not only makes you feel good about yourself, it connects you with others, increases your social skills, combats depression, and helps keep you healthy. 37. Step 3 Practice the Golden Rule 3. Practice the Golden Rule When you do to others as you would have done to yourself, you create a loop of goodwill. This isn't just for morality's sake. The more you show goodwill to others, the more likely they will be to contribute to your own advancement. Expert Q&A Ask a question Submit Video Tips You live in an environment, so make it incredible. Surround yourself with you. Take the time to clean, to furnish your dwelling and workspace and make it your own. When you are in control of your environment, you are in control of yourself. Take the time to step back and look at what you've achieved. Remember, having a sense of pride about accomplishing will help motivate you to accomplish even more. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A person looking at a cell phone description automatically generated. You might also like Be mature How to Be mature Be responsible How to Be responsible Blame shifting what is blame shifting Plus, how to respond to it Be a responsible student How to Be a responsible student Be a mature teenager How to be a mature teenager. 
Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. How to Stop being immature. Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to Be a responsible teen. Be emotionally independent How to be an emotionally independent person. Accept blame when you deserve it How to accept blame and take accountability with expert tips. Be tolerant of others. How to Be tolerant of others. Become a stronger woman. How to Become a stronger woman. References 40 https forward slash forward slash hbr dot org forward slash 2012 forward slash 01 forward slash train your brain to focus. 41 https forward slash forward slash online elibri dot wiley dot com forward slash do forward slash herbs forward slash 10 dot 1111 forward slash jasp dot 12646. 42 https forward slash forward slash insight dot kellogg dot northwestern dot edu forward slash article forward slash easy or hard tasks first. 43 https forward slash forward slash hbr dot org forward slash 2020 forward slash 01 forward slash time management is about more than life hacks. 44 https forward slash forward slash www.northeastern.edu forward slash graduate forward slash blog forward slash time management tips online students forward slash 45 https forward slash forward slash hbr.org forward slash 2015 forward slash 02 forward slash to stay focused manage your emotions. 46 https forward slash forward slash psychcentral.com forward slash blog forward slash ways to love yourself more. 47 https forward slash forward slash mhanational.org forward slash taking good care yourself. 48 https forward slash forward slash www.helpguide.org forward slash articles forward slash health living forward slash volunteering and its surprising benefits.htm About this article Guy Richard Co-authored by Guy Richard Executive Life Coach This article was co-authored by Guy Richard Guy Richard is an executive life coach and the founder of Heartrich Coaching and Training, a professional life coaching and inner leadership training provider based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He works with people to create more meaning, purpose, well-being, and fulfillment in their lives. Guy has over 10 years of personal growth coaching and resilience training experience helping clients enhance and transform their inner worlds, so they can be a more positive and powerful influence on those they love and lead. He is an Adler Certified Professional Coach, ACPC, and is accredited by the International Coach Federation. He earned a BA in Psychology from York University in 1997 and a Master of Business Administration, MBA, from York University in 2000. This article has been viewed 183,873 times. 48 votes, 77%. Co-authors, 16. Updated, 10 October, 2023. Views, 183,873. Categories, Featured Articles Maturity. In other languages, Portuguese, Spanish, French, German, print, send fan mail to authors. Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 183,873 times.
Did this article help you? Yes no. A screenshot of a website description automatically generated. Guy Richard. Co-authored by Guy Richard. Executive Life Coach. 48 votes, 77%. Click a star to vote. Co-authors, 16. Updated, the 10th of October, 2023. Views, 183,873. Anonymous. Anonymous. The 5th of March, 2019. All of it really makes a lot of sense. It was my first article I've read at WikiHow, and I really am. More. Share yours. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Featured articles. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. How to. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Respond to a heart emoji. How to. Respond to a heart emoji. Make a glitter bomb. How to. Make a glitter bomb. Fold clothes. How to. Fold clothes. Develop productive habits. How to. Develop productive habits. Trending articles. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. Be cat-like. How to. Be cat-like. How to effectively crack your back. How to effectively crack your back. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. Featured articles. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. Make cloud slime. How to. Make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. How happy am I quiz? How happy am I quiz? Whiten teeth with baking soda. How to. Whiten teeth with baking soda. What does angel number 1111 mean? What does angel number 1111 mean? Featured articles. Be healthy. How to. Be healthy. Make perfume last longer. How to. Make perfume last longer. Appreciate yourself. How to. Appreciate yourself. How to read a human design chart. How to read a human design chart. Introduce yourself in class. How to. Introduce yourself in class. 
Cool yourself without air conditioning. How to Cool yourself without air conditioning. Watch articles. Clean the bottom of an oven. How to Clean the bottom of an oven. Prepare lemon tea. How to Prepare lemon tea. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. Straighten your hair. How to Straighten your hair. Clean flip-flops. How to Clean flip-flops. Close a bag of chips by folding it. How to Close a bag of chips by folding it. Trending articles. How to see who is connected to your wireless network. How to see who is connected to your wireless network. 80 plus bio ideas to spice up your Discord profile. 80 plus bio ideas to spice up your Discord profile. Something bit me. Common insect bites, with pictures. Something bit me. Common insect bites, with pictures. All about the that girl aesthetic. All about the that girl aesthetic. How to grow taller. How to grow taller. View Instagram without an account. How to. View Instagram without an account. Wikihow. Categories. Education and communications. Personal development. Maturity. Wikihow newsletter. Helpful how-tos delivered to your inbox every week. Sign me up. By signing up you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of form. Bottom of form. Home. About WikiHow. Experts. Jobs. Contact us. Site map. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Contribute. Don't miss out. Sign up for Wikihow's newsletter. Subscribe. X. Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to WikiHow. Let's do this. Skip to content. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Wikihow is where trusted research and expert knowledge come together. Learn why people trust Wikihow. Personal development. Maturity. 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. PDF download download article. Achieve your goals and take charge of your life with these easy steps. Co-authored by Jennifer Clark and Jennifer Mueller. JD. Last updated, the 10th of April, 2024. Fact checked. Do you always feel as though you're reacting to things that happen to you rather than taking the reins in your life? People who are proactive take active control of their lives and the direction they're headed in. If you want to be more proactive, you've come to the right place. We talked to life coaches Jennifer Clark and Amber Rosenberg to learn everything you need to know to adopt a more proactive mindset in your life. How to be proactive. Focus on what you can control, and let go of what you can't. Take initiative to achieve your goals and solve problems. Be accountable for your actions and choices. Focus on the future, not the past. 1. Set concrete, realistic goals. PDF download download article. 78. Use the SMART acronym to create effective goals. Use the SMART acronym to create effective goals. 
SMART stands for specific, meaningful, achievable, realistic, and time-based, or trackable. If all of your goals meet these criteria, you will be more likely to stay on the path towards success. Start by thinking about what you ultimately want in life, then figure out what specific steps you'll need to take to get there. 1. Use smart short-term goals to motivate yourself and ensure that you're continuing to make progress toward your long-term goals. To figure out what you really want out of life, life coach Jennifer Clark recommends that you go back to your values and determine if they are in line what what you want to be as a person. 2. Clark notes that it's best when people work on authentic goals because when they obsess about a goal that's not authentic, it creates distortion, especially when the goal can't be achieved. 3. 2. Prioritize preventative and maintenance measures. PDF Download Download Article 80. Anticipate problems and do what you can to prevent them. Anticipate problems and do what you can to prevent them. When you have a reactive mindset, you don't worry about any potential problems until they actually happen. With a proactive mindset, you predict what might happen, then do what you can to prevent negative outcomes. If there's something that can't be prevented, there might at least be things you can do to minimize the damage if it does happen. 4. For example, if you live in a place that has harsh winters, you might take steps to winterize your vehicle in the fall so that you'll have fewer problems with it during the cold months. This applies in personal relationships too. For example, you might speak up immediately when someone violates your boundaries while it's still only a minor issue, rather than waiting until it snowballs into a big deal. 3. Focus on one thing at a time. PDF Download Download Article 82. Accomplish more by giving each task your whole attention. Accomplish more by giving each task your whole attention. Studies show that humans are actually pretty bad at multitasking. In fact, it can sometimes do more harm than good. When you do one thing at a time, you create less stress for yourself which allows you to stay more even-keeled, emotionally. In that mental state, you're better able to be proactive. 5. If you have a lot of things to do, it can help to go through your to-do list and figure out how long each thing will take to do. Knock out some of the smaller things first and you'll build momentum for the rest of your day. 4. Let go of the stuff outside of your control. PDF Download Download Article 84. Use your energy to tackle things you know you can actively change. Use your energy to tackle things you know you can actively change. Life coach Amber Rosenberg emphasizes that you should make a list of what's in your control versus what's out of your control. Focus on what you can influence, let go of what you can't. 6. She recommends that you notice when your mind wanders to the many scary things that are currently out of your control, take a deep breath, or 500, and refocus on what's in your control. 7. For example, if you're worried about your son's grades at school, you might see that you can't make him get good grades. You can, however help him study for tests and make sure he eats healthy food and gets enough sleep. 5. Take initiative instead of waiting for someone else. PDF Download Download Article 86. Embrace the challenge and act on your plans and goals. Embrace the challenge and act on your plans and goals. Having a proactive mindset means being willing to take the first step towards something you want to achieve. Focus on moving forward, even when your path isn't linear. A more reactive mindset would be to talk about the things you want to achieve but wait on someone else to take you in that direction. 8. For example, if you think you're overdue for a promotion at work, 
you could be proactive and write a letter to your boss outlining why you deserve a promotion. A more reactive mindset would mean that you simply waited for your boss to come to the same conclusion. This applies to personal and romantic relationships as well. For example, instead of waiting for your partner to propose to you, you might propose to them instead. 6. Reflect on your actions. PDF Download Download Article 88. Monitor your progress and change your plans where necessary. Monitor your progress and change your plans where necessary. Being proactive also means being adaptable. When something you do has a different effect than you planned, evaluate what happened and figure out how you need to adjust course. You might also find ways you can streamline to make the process more efficient. 9. Often, the way forward requires a little trial and error before you figure out the best path to achieve your goals. When you're thinking forward, you're better able to see when something's not going to work out so you can adjust course accordingly. 7. Focus on finding solutions. PDF Download Download Article 90. Figure out how to move forward and negotiate hurdles. Figure out how to move forward and negotiate hurdles. Identifying a potential stumbling block is only the first step. Being proactive means moving beyond that to figure out how to get past that problem if it does arise. If the problem is already there, it means that you're looking for ways to resolve the problem rather than just sitting around worrying or complaining about it. 10. For example, if a co-worker has really bad body odor, you might want to brainstorm solutions or seek more understanding of their issues, rather than sit idly by and complain about them with other co-workers. 11. 8. Spend your time with motivated people. PDF Download Download Article 92 Positive people will push you to excel and take action. Positive people will push you to excel and take action. The people who are around you all of the time ultimately influence your values and your mindset. By surrounding yourself with positive, growth-oriented people, you'll strengthen your own proactive mindset. 12. If there are people in your life who have a more negative or fixed mindset, do what you can to limit your time and exposure to them. 9. Keep a calm and level head. PDF Download Download Article 94. Make decisions only when you're in control of your emotions. Make decisions only when you're in control of your emotions. Emotions are, by their very definition, reactive. When you act based on your emotions, you're in a reactive mindset rather than a proactive mindset. To empower a more proactive mindset, take a few minutes away and use breathing exercises to calm yourself. Only attempt to resolve a situation when you are calm enough to evaluate all of the potential options. 13. Having tools and resources at your disposal to help you control your emotions is a big part of being proactive. In fact, you could say that you're being proactive about being proactive, because you're preventing things that could potentially limit your ability to be proactive in the future. 10. Hold yourself accountable. PDF Download Download Article 96 Take responsibility for everything you do and fail to do. Take responsibility for everything you do and fail to do. The idea that you are responsible for what happens to you is the foundation of a proactive mindset. When you blame circumstances or other people for your actions, you're putting yourself in a reactive position. Holding yourself accountable also allows you to learn from your mistakes and enhance your skills and knowledge. 14. If you're having difficulty with this, consider recruiting one of your friends to be your accountability partner. 
the two of you can help hold each other accountable so it's easier to be proactive. Clark notes that when you get off track, you have to pause and look at what's important to you. What's important to you has to be the starting point of any goal. Most goals are created out of ego, fear, or insecurity. 15. 11. Treat failure as an opportunity. PDF Download Download Article 98. Learn from your mistakes to become a more proactive person. Learn from your mistakes to become a more proactive person. When you encounter a stumbling block or something doesn't go exactly how you predicted it would, figure out what you could have done differently. Incorporate that knowledge into your future plans so that you don't make the same mistake twice. 16. Learning from your mistakes also helps you be more adaptable because it's easier to see how your actions impact what happens around you. 12. Develop a routine. PDF Download Download Article 100 Consistency helps you use your time more efficiently. Consistency helps you use your time more efficiently. The more things you do out of habit and routine, the less things you have to think about on a daily basis. You have more energy to devote to important things when you don't have to think about the basics, like when you'll go to bed. 17. When you have a regular routine, you'll also find that it's easier for you to maximize the time you have available during the day. Having a regular routine also makes you more predictable to other people, which means they'll also believe that you're more reliable and trustworthy. This reputation can come in handy when you're trying to accomplish something and need some help. 13. Channel Anxious Energy into Something Productive PDF Download Download Article 102 Keep moving forward rather than getting bogged down by anxiety. Keep moving forward rather than getting bogged down by anxiety. Transform your focus and use that anxious energy to improve your life. Even if you can only accomplish smaller tasks, getting something done will help you feel more positive and productive. If you can't focus your mind, Go for a walk or even do a few push-ups just to get your body moving and help lower your anxiety levels. 18. Talking to people you trust about the things you're worried about can also help relieve some of your stress. For example, if someone is bullying you at work, you might talk to your best friend about it and ask what they would do. Expert Tip Amber Rosenberg, PCC Amber Rosenberg, PCC Pacific Life Coach When you're overwhelmed try getting out of your head. Throwing cold water on your face can lower your heart rate and anxiety. You can also go outside and get some exercise. Or find green images. The color green can reduce the stress response in your system and help you relax and not be as reactive. 14. Volunteer to take the lead. PDF Download Download Article 104 Take on a leadership role to feel more of a sense of purpose. Take on a leadership role to feel more of a sense of purpose. When you're proactive, you're focused on doing what needs to be done to achieve the goal at hand. Because you're thinking ahead you can effectively direct others to contribute the most value. And because you're accountable, you understand how to take responsibility for others. 19. Proactive leaders are important not just in the workplace but in your personal life as well. Being proactive with your family or in your romantic relationship helps strengthen your bond with the people you love. 15. Empathies and Explore New Perspectives PDF Download Download Article 106 Listen to and incorporate other viewpoints to find the best path. Listen to and incorporate other viewpoints to find the best path. 
your way isn't the only way of doing things, and it might not even be the best way. Likewise, your response to a situation might differ depending on the context or someone else's interpretation of events. If you try to look at things through other people's eyes, you'll gain greater insights that allow you to be more confidently proactive. 20. For example, if someone is rude to you at work, you might remind yourself that everyone is doing the best they can and that not everyone has the same levels of emotional intelligence or support systems that help them feel loved and appreciated. 21. Expert Tip Amber Rosenberg, PCC Amber Rosenberg, PCC Pacific Life Coach Our expert agrees, 90% of what people say or do is about them, not you. Once you understand that, you can flip a situation around and better understand why the other person did or said what they did. If your child is difficult at home, think about what they might be going through at school or with their friends. Their situation outside of your house can affect what's happening inside your house. 16. Interrogate your negative assumptions. PDF download download article. 108. Flip the script when you're tempted to assume the worst. Flip the script when you're tempted to assume the worst. Keep an open mind instead of automatically thinking the worst is going to happen and you'll find it a lot easier to be proactive. When you find yourself assuming the worst, ask yourself what might happen if you instead assumed the best. 22. For example, if someone doesn't respond to your text message right away, you might find yourself thinking it's because they hate you. Instead, you might imagine that they are super busy or don't have their phone on them and will respond to you as soon as they can. 17. Choose to focus on the bright side. PDF download download article. 110. Have a positive outlook so it's easier to stay proactive. Have a positive outlook so it's easier to stay proactive. When you have a positive outlook, you see any setbacks as only temporary. You know that you'll persevere, that you'll find a way to overcome challenges and adapt to changes when necessary to achieve your goals. So there's no sense in getting down about any problems you face. 23. Use positive affirmations to transform the negative thoughts in your head into more empowering motivational thoughts. Overcome laziness and procrastination with this expert series. Are you feeling unmotivated and stuck? Are you just having a hard time getting yourself to do the things you need to do? Then these expert articles are just for you. 1. How to stop being lazy and unmotivated so you can achieve your goals. 1. How to stop being lazy and unmotivated. 2 to 14 simple and effective ways to stop procrastinating. 2. 14 simple and effective ways to stop. 3. Get out of a rut. 3. Get out of a rut. 4. Stick to your goals. 4. Stick to your goals. 5. Be self motivated. 5. Be self motivated. 6. Do anything. 6. Do anything. Expert Q&A. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. You might also like. How to. Be organized. Download video. Manage your time. How to. Manage your time. Form a plan. How to. Form a plan. Stop procrastinating 14 simple and effective ways to stop procrastinating. Organize your home. How to. Organize your home. Be ambitious. How to. Be ambitious. 
Hypnotize yourself using the best me technique. How to Hypnotize yourself using the best me technique. Be mature. How to Be mature. Be responsible. How to Be responsible. Be serious. How to Be serious. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to Be a responsible student. Be a mature teenager. How to Be a mature teenager. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. References 112 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash click here happiness forward slash 202104 forward slash how set and achieve your life goals. 113 Jennifer Clark Life Coach Expert Interview The 7th of February, 2020 114 Jennifer Clark Life Coach Expert Interview The 7th of February, 2020 115 https forward slash forward slash leaderforgood.com forward slash be proactive not reactive forward slash 116 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash beyond stress and burnout forward slash 202203 forward slash the fallacy multitasking 117 Amber Rosenberg, PCC Pacific Life Coach Expert Interview The 26th of April, 2021 118 Amber Rosenberg, PCC Pacific Life Coach Expert Interview The 26th of April, 2021 119 https forward slash forward slash www.inc.com forward slash David Van Rui forward slash 7 ways to adopt a proactive mindset. HTML 120 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash getting proactive forward slash 201811 forward slash why proactivity is the superpower you can and should develop. More references, 14. About this article. Jennifer Clark. Co-authored by. Jennifer Clark Life Coach This article was co-authored by Jennifer Clark and by WikiHow staff writer, Jennifer Mueller, J.D. Jennifer Clark is an evolution coach and the founder of Soulful Solutions, her life consulting business which helps both individuals and organizations evolve and grow into their full potential based in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. She has over 20 years of experience assisting over 8,000 individuals with life consulting, workshop facilitation, and public speaking training. She received a risk management certification from the Sprit School of Business in 2000, an integrated energy therapy master and instruction certificate in 2004, and an assertiveness coach certificate in 2015. She earned a BA with honors in political science from Queen's University in 1992. This article has been viewed 1,023,092 times. Four votes, 100%. Co-authors, 86. Updated, the 10th of April, 2024. Views, 1,023,092. Categories, Featured Articles Maturity In Other Languages Italian Spanish Portuguese Russian French Chinese 
Indonesian, Dutch, Arabic, print. Send fan mail to authors. Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 1,023,092 times. Did this article help you? Yes no. A white background with black text description automatically generated. Jennifer Clark. Co-authored by. Jennifer Clark. Life Coach. Co-authors 86. Updated April 10, 2024. Views, 1,023,092. 100% of readers found this article helpful. 4 votes, 100%. Click a star to add your vote. City D. City D. The 31st of July. This helped me realize what I wanted to be and to take action to grow actively and improve rather than just sit. More. Share yours, more success stories. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Riz game. Test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Be organized. How to. Be organized. Manage your time. How to. Manage your time. Form a plan. How to. Form a plan. Stop procrastinating 14 simple and effective ways to stop procrastinating. Featured articles. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. How to. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. 9 Ways to Cut Your Long Hair at Home 9 Ways to Cut Your Long Hair at Home Respond to a Heart Emoji How to Respond to a Heart Emoji Make a Glitter Bomb How to Make a Glitter Bomb Fold Clothes How to Fold Clothes Develop Productive Habits How to Develop productive habits. Trending articles. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. Be cat like. How to. Be cat-like. How to effectively crack your back. How to effectively crack your back. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. Featured articles. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. Make cloud slime. How to. Make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. How happy am I quiz. How happy am I quiz. Whiten teeth with baking soda. How to. Whiten teeth with baking soda. What does angel number 1111 mean? What does angel number 1111 mean? Featured articles. Be healthy. How to. Be healthy. Make perfume last longer. How to. Make perfume last longer. Appreciate yourself. How to. 
Appreciate yourself. How to read a human design chart. How to read a human design chart. Introduce yourself in class. How to introduce yourself in class. Cool yourself without air conditioning. How to cool yourself without air conditioning. Watch articles. Clean the bottom of an oven. How to clean the bottom of an oven. Prepare lemon tea. How to prepare lemon tea. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. Straighten your hair. How to straighten your hair. Clean flip-flops. How to clean flip-flops. Close a bag of chips by folding it. How to close a bag of chips by folding it. Trending articles. How to see who is connected to your wireless network. How to see who is connected to your wireless network. 80 plus bio ideas to spice up your Discord profile. 80 plus bio ideas to spice up your Discord profile. Something bit me. Common insect bites, with pictures. Something bit me. Common insect bites, with pictures. All about the that girl aesthetic. All about the that girl aesthetic. How to grow taller. How to grow taller. View Instagram without an account. How to. View Instagram without an account. Quizzes. What Disney princess am I quiz? What Disney princess am I quiz? Take quiz. Do I have a phobia quiz? Do I have a phobia quiz? Take quiz. Guess my age quiz. Guess my age quiz. Take quiz. Am I a genius quiz? Am I a genius quiz? Take quiz. Depression test. Depression test. Take quiz. What human emotion am I quiz? What human emotion am I quiz? Take quiz. Wikihow. Categories. Education and communications. Personal development. Maturity. Wikihow newsletter. Helpful how-tos delivered to. Your inbox every week. Sign me up. By signing up you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of form. Bottom of form. Home. About Wikihow. Experts. Jobs. Contact us. Sitemap. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Contribute. Don't miss out. Sign up for Wikihow's newsletter. Subscribe. X. Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to Wikihow. Let's do this. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Personal development. Maturity. How to be a responsible teen. PDF download download article. Co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA and Jessica Gibson. Last updated, the 31st of May, 2024 approved. Being a teenager can be hard at times, between parental expectations, school work, and relationships with your friends, you might feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Instead of seeing these as stressors, consider all the opportunities you have. As a teen, 
you have lots of experiences and choices that let you prove how responsible you are. 1. Keep your room clean and organized. PDF Download Download Article 146 Take care of your things and clean up after yourself. Take care of your things and clean up after yourself. If your parents are still picking up after you or cleaning your room, they probably don't think you can handle other obligations like having a job or looking after a car. Prove that you can look after your things by organizing your room and keeping it tidy. Your parents will probably be impressed and grateful that you're caring for your belongings. 1. 2. Help out around your home. PDF Download Download Article 147 Contribute without being asked to demonstrate responsibility. Contribute without being asked to demonstrate responsibility. If your parents have to nag you to do chores, they might think you're not ready for more independence. To earn their respect, find ways to help out without being asked. You might not think they'll notice, but over time, they'll realize that you're contributing. You can also ask them for things you can do that will show you're responsible. 2. For example, if you know the trash always has to go to the curb on Tuesdays, move it out there the night before without being told. Try to do things that will help your parents and family out. 3. Work toward good grades. PDF Download Download Article 149 Make an effort to study and turn in your homework. Make an effort to study and turn in your homework. Yes, homework can be a hassle, but doing it will help you stay on track in class. Going to your classes and learning the material is one of the best ways to prove you're responsible. After all, good grades show that you're attending class, staying engaged, doing homework, and taking exams. This might seem like a lot of pressure. But remember that your teachers and counselors want you to succeed. If you're struggling with schoolwork, reach out to your teacher or counselor for help. You might need to work on your time management skills to fit in studying time with extracurricular activities and a part-time job, for instance. 4. Get a part-time or summer job. PDF Download Download Article 151. You'll earn skills, experience, and money while proving responsibility. You'll earn skills, experience, and money while proving responsibility. Your first job is a huge milestone. It shows that you can manage your time, take on work responsibilities, and that you're challenging yourself. During the school year, Try not to work more than 10 to 15 hours a week so you still have time for homework or extracurriculars. You may want to work more during the summer if you're saving up or just have more time. 3. Getting a job in high school also gives you valuable work experience. You can put this on a resume and learn about what kind of jobs you like. 5. Avoid drugs and alcohol. PDF Download Download Article 153 These are risky activities that show poor judgment and can lead to addiction. These are risky activities that show poor judgment and can lead to addiction. You'll prove that you're a really responsible teen if you turn down drugs and alcohol. 4. Unfortunately you might find yourself in a situation where someone's really pushing it on you. If you can't avoid the person, here are a few ways you can turn them down sad smiley 5. Let them know you're the designated driver and that you need to be sober. Explain that you don't use drugs or alcohol because you're on a sports team or have to work later, for instance. Bring your own non-alcoholic drink and let them know you're fine. Tell them your parents will be checking on you when you get home. Be clear that you don't use drugs or alcohol.
6. Protect yourself and your online identity. PDF Download Download Article 155. Keep yourself safe and don't put yourself in risky situations. Keep yourself safe and don't put yourself in risky situations. You might have rules that you're expected to follow, a curfew, rules about when you're allowed to drive, or places you can go with friends, for instance. Your parents probably have these rules to keep you safe. Keep your personal safety in mind when you're going places or meeting up with friends and don't let your guard down when you're online. Be cautious about sharing personal information and change your profile settings to private. 6. It's almost impossible to remove something from the internet, so think twice before you post something and never share things that could compromise or embarrass you. 7. Think before you act. PDF Download Download Article 157. Consider the consequences before you do or say something you might regret. Consider the consequences before you do or say something you might regret. It's really easy to respond quickly at the moment and say or do something you regret, especially if you're arguing with friends or your family. If you start getting angry, take a few seconds to think about why you're upset and ways you could react. Consider the consequences of each reaction before you decide. 7. For example, if your parent tells you that you can't go over to a friend's house, you might finish chores and then ask again instead of throwing a fit or getting into an argument with them. It's okay to be upset. However, if you don't think can react without getting angry and saying something you regret, give yourself some space to process things. Then, once you've cooled off, go back and talk with the person. 8. Have an open line of communication with your parents. PDF Download Download Article 159 When you're a teenager, it can feel hard to talk, but make it a priority. When you're a teenager, it can feel hard to talk, but make it a priority. You don't have to be best friends, but it's important to let them know what's going on in your life and how you're doing. Your parents will appreciate you letting them be involved in your life. 8. If you get in the habit of just checking in with your parents about everyday things, it will be easier to have more serious conversations later on. Don't forget to ask about how things are going with your parents and take the time to listen. This shows them that you're considerate and growing up. 9. Discuss responsibilities and privileges. PDF Download Download Article 161. Have a talk if you think you deserve more independence. Have a talk if you think you deserve more independence. It can be hard for parents to step back and give their teenagers more freedom. But if you feel like you deserve more privileges, sit down with them to talk about it. Be respectful and tell them what responsible things you've done to earn more freedom. 9. For example, you might say, I've raised my grades in two of my classes and I worked all summer. I think I'm responsible enough to have a later curfew. What do you think? Don't demand more privileges or freedoms just because it's what your friends have. Remember, you've got to show your parents that you've earned their respect. 10. Practice good hygiene. PDF Download Download Article 163. Bathe and wash your hair regularly so you're clean and smell nice. Bathe and wash your hair regularly so you're clean and smell nice. When you go through puberty, you might notice your hair becomes oilier, your skin is prone to breakouts, and your sweat has a stronger odor. This just means that you should wash your face daily, shower or bathe frequently, and wash your hair often. 10. 
it's probably a good idea to start using deodorant which can keep you smelling fresh throughout the day, especially if you exercise. If you have acne, you may want to start a simple skincare regimen to manage oil and treat blemishes. Wash your skin twice a day with an oil-free cleanser and keep it moisturized. Pick up a few acne spot treatments that contain benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid to treat annoying pimples. Wear clean clothes and to show you're really responsible, wash your dirty clothes. 11. Take care of your own health. PDF Download Download Article 165. Make your own doctor and dentist appointments to get regular care. Make your own doctor and dentist appointments to get regular care. Show your parents that you're growing up and taking steps to look after yourself. To show you're responsible, talk with your parents about scheduling your own doctor and dentist appointments. 11. If you need to get a ride from your parent, check the appointment with them before you book so you know they can drive you. Health care can be confusing. If you have questions about medical care or insurance, ask your parent to help clear things up. This shows your guardian that you're serious about managing your health. Expert Q&A Question What's a good first step? Rachel Clissold Rachel Clissold Certified Life Coach Expert Answer Start with Acceptance just acknowledge that you're in charge of your personal behavior. Once you internalize that, it's a lot easier to start being responsible. Not helpful 3 helpful 13. Question. Is feeling bad about my mistakes going to help me be more responsible? Rachel Clissold. Rachel Clissold. Certified Life Coach. Expert Answer. Not necessarily. Don't focus so much on judging the behavior. Try to show yourself a little compassion. If you make a mistake, just own it and forget about feeling bad about yourself. Not helpful 3 helpful 9. Question. What does it really mean to be responsible? Rachel Clissold. Rachel Clissold. Certified Life Coach. Expert answer. It just means that you take ownership over yourself. You don't blame other people or outside influences when you make a mistake or do something wrong. Not helpful 3 helpful 12. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Don't forget that showing responsibility also means respecting other people's things. If you've got siblings, Always ask before you want to borrow something and take really good care of it if you do. Tips from our readers. Don't be afraid to have a close bond with your parents. Try not to keep too many secrets from them, and keep them in the loop with what's going on in your life. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A cartoon of a person holding a phone description automatically generated. You might also like. Be a normal good looking girl from inside and outside. How to. Be a normal good looking girl from inside and outside. Be a normal teenager how to behave like a typical teenager. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be mature. How to Be mature Be serious How to Be serious Blame shifting What is blame shifting? Plus, how to respond to it? Be a responsible student How to Be a responsible student Be a mature teenager How to Be a mature teenager be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. 
How to Stop being immature Act more mature in daily surroundings How to Act more mature in daily surroundings Be emotionally independent How to be an emotionally independent person Accept blame when you deserve it How to accept blame and take accountability With expert tips References 172 https forward slash forward slash wpsdk12.org forward slash uploads forward slash wphs forward slash forms forward slash hv1214384 e respect and responsibility dot pdf 173 https forward slash forward slash parentantine.com forward slash build trust be responsible forward slash 174 https forward slash forward slash www.nytimes.com forward slash room for debate forward slash 2013 forward slash 04 forward slash 01 forward slash allowances jobs and teaching the value of a dollar forward slash teenagers learn from working. 175 http forward slash forward slash www.mayoclinic.org forward slash health lifestyle forward slash tween and teen health forward slash in depth forward slash teen drug abuse forward slash art 20045921 176 https forward slash forward slash teens dot dot gov forward slash blog forward slash post forward slash six tactful tips resisting peer pressure to use drugs and alcohol 177 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash teens forward slash online id dot html 178 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash teens forward slash deal with anger dot html hash cat cool 179 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash kids forward slash talk parents dot html hash cat cool 180 https forward slash forward slash parentantine.com forward slash getting parents to trust you again forward slash more references to about this article Kirsten Parker MFA co-authored by Kirsten Parker MFA mindset and action coach this article was co-authored by Kirsten Parker MFA and by WikiHow staff writer, Jessica Gibson. Kirsten Parker is a mindset and action coach based in her hometown of Los Angeles, California. She helps high achievers overcome stress and self-doubt. She specializes in increasing one's confidence and clarity by incorporating tools from positive psychology, mindful habit change and self-regulation into her coaching. She is a certified heart math practitioner trained in stress, anxiety, and intelligent energy management along with emotional intelligence and the science of self-acceptance. She also holds an MFA from Yale University School of Drama in Stage Management. This article has been viewed 323,534 times. 66 votes, 85%. Co-authors, 54. Updated, the 31st of May, 2024. Views, 323,534. Categories, featured articles maturity. In other languages. French. Italian. Spanish. Portuguese. Russian. Indonesian. Dutch, Vietnamese, Thai, Japanese, Arabic, Chinese, print, send fan mail to authors. Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 323,534 times. Did this article help you? 
Yes No. Kirsten Parker, MFA. Co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA. Mindset and Action Coach. Co-authors 54. Updated May 31, 2024. Views, 323,534. 85% of readers found this article helpful. 66 votes, 85%. Click a star to add your vote. Felix a C. Felix a C. The 24th of December, 2019. I searched for many ways to be responsible because my mom was never proud of anything I did. This article really. More. Share yours, more success stories. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Be a normal good looking girl from inside and outside. How to. Be a normal good looking girl from inside and outside. Be a normal teenager how to behave like a typical teenager. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Featured articles. Protect yourself from predators for kids. How to. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. 9 ways to cut your long hair at home. 9 ways to cut your long hair at home. Respond to a heart emoji. How to. Respond to a heart emoji. Make a glitter bomb. How to. Make a glitter bomb. Fold clothes. How to. Fold clothes. Develop productive habits. How to. Develop productive habits. Trending articles. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. 7 Easy Ways to Know If Someone Is Online On Snapchat Be Cat-like How to Be Cat-like How to Effectively Crack Your Back How to Effectively Crack Your Back How to Turn a Voice Memo Into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows How to Turn a Voice Memo Into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows Featured Articles how to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. Make cloud slime. How to. Make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. How happy am I quiz. How happy am I quiz. Whiten teeth with baking soda. How to. Whiten teeth with baking soda. What does angel number 1111 mean? What does angel number 1111 mean? Featured articles. Be healthy. How to. Be healthy. Make perfume last longer. How to. Make perfume last longer. Appreciate yourself. How to. Appreciate yourself. How to read a human design chart. How to read a human design chart. Introduce yourself in class. How to. 
Introduce yourself in class. Cool yourself without air conditioning. How to Cool yourself without air conditioning. Watch articles. Clean the bottom of an oven. How to Clean the bottom of an oven. Prepare lemon tea. How to Prepare lemon tea. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. Straighten your hair. How to Straighten your hair. Clean flip-flops. How to Clean flip-flops. Close a bag of chips by folding it. How to Close a bag of chips by folding it. Wikihow Categories Education and Communications Personal Development Maturity Wikihow Newsletter Helpful How-Tos Delivered to Your Inbox Every Week Sign Me Up By signing up you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of Form Bottom of Form Home About Wikihow Experts Jobs Contact us Site Map Terms of Use Privacy Policy Contribute Don't Miss Out Sign Up For Wikihow's Newsletter Subscribe X Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission, to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to Wikihow. Let's do this. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Personal development. Maturity. How to accept blame and take accountability, with expert tips. PDF download download article. A guide to taking responsibility for mistakes and bouncing back. Co-authored by Catherine Boswell, PhD and Amy Payne, MFA. Last updated, the 22nd of July, 2024 Fact Checked. When you know you are at fault for a problem, it can be tempting to pretend it wasn't your mistake or put the blame on someone else. But admitting your mistakes and taking responsibility is always the best way to handle the situation. Then, you're able to move on from the situation, knowing you'll do better next time. We spoke with licensed psychologist Catherine Boswell and licensed clinical psychologist Jura Anderson to learn how to own up to mistakes gracefully at work and in your personal life. Read on to learn more. How to own up to a misc take. 206 recognize you've done something wrong. 207 keep the focus on your actions, not what someone else did. 208 admit your mistake as soon as possible. 209 sincerely apologize to the wronged person and validate their feelings. 210 propose a solution and accept any consequences. 211 Reflect on your actions and get help to be more accountable. 212 Accept that nobody's perfect and move on. 1. Recognize that you made a mistake. PDF Download Download Article 213 Acknowledge your wrongdoing. Acknowledge your wrongdoing. To take responsibility for your mistakes. You must reflect on your words or actions and understand what you did poorly or wrongly. Gain some clarity about the event and why you may have done what you did. 1. Admitting you were wrong doesn't mean you're weak or inept. In fact, owning up to your mistakes takes a lot of courage and self-awareness. 
it is a sign of maturity. For example, if you said you would pick up the dry cleaning but didn't, don't make an excuse. Just own that you said you would do something, and you didn't pull through. Start by saying, I was wrong or I made a mistake even if only to yourself. 2. Take accountability for your actions. PDF Download Download Article 215. Keep the focus on you. Keep the focus on you. You might share responsibility with another person, and they may have said or done wrong things as well, but stay focused on your part of the mistake, Boswell advises. Just because you take accountability for your mistake, it doesn't mean you're free to point the finger at other people for their parts. 2. Even if you own up to your part, the other person may not own up to theirs. If they don't, know that you did the right thing by admitting your wrongs. Remember that you can only control your own actions, not anyone else's. For example, if a project didn't get finished and you were part of the problem, own up to your part. Don't start blaming others, even if they were part of the problem. Say something like, it was my responsibility to double check that the numbers were correct. 3. Address the issue right away. PDF Download Download Article 217. Say something sooner rather than later. Say something sooner rather than later. As soon as a situation becomes unpleasant, be mature about owning up to your responsibility in creating it. The sooner the problem is identified, the sooner a resolution is possible, and that minimizes negative consequences. 3. For example, if you let someone down, talk to them as soon as possible and let them know how you feel. Say, I was going to go to your event but didn't make it, and it's my fault. 4. Admit that you made a mistake. PDF Download Download Article 219. Admitting your mistake shows that you're willing to take responsibility. Admitting your mistake shows that you're willing to take responsibility. It can be difficult to admit you're imperfect and did something wrong. But proactively taking that step shows others you're willing to be responsible for what you do even if you aren't caught, which makes you seem more honorable and trustworthy. 4. For example, say, I was wrong to yell at you yesterday. Even if I'm upset, I don't want to yell. 5. Make a sincere apology. PDF Download Download Article 221 The most important thing you can do is say you're sorry to the people affected. The most important thing you can do is say you're sorry to the people affected. Accept what you did wrong and make it clear that you are sorry for whatever hurt or problem it caused. Be gracious when you apologize and be willing to admit your fault. 5. Anderson advises, if you regret your actions, apologize for those actions, apologize that your actions made other people feel that way, for that was not your intent. For example, say, I'm sorry I messed up the project. It's my fault, and I take responsibility for things going wrong. 6. Validate the feelings of the person you wronged. PDF Download Download Article 223 Be understanding if the other person is upset. Be understanding if the other person is upset. Validate how they feel and what they might be experiencing. Start by reflecting on their words or feelings, and then let them know that you understand why they feel the way they do. 6. Anderson recommends, acknowledge their feelings and any actions on your part that may have led to those feelings. For example, say, I can tell you're disappointed. I would be, too. Esther Peril. Esther Peril, psychotherapist. Be empathetic and aware of others. When our ability to consider and understand the feelings of others decreases, 
our relationships suffer. 7. Propose a solution. PDF download download article. 225. Part of taking responsibility includes making up for your mistake. Part of taking responsibility includes making up for your mistake. Come up with some solutions to right your wrong. This might mean doing extra work or promising to do better next time. Boswell's advice is showing that you're willing to change to make things better. Making amends can help to restore justice and put people back on equal grounds. 7. For example, if you're to blame for something at work, offer to stay later and fix your mistake. If you mess something up with your family or friends, say it will be different next time and mean it. Tell the person what you are going to do to rectify the situation, how you will provide restitution, and how your actions will change should the situation arise in the future says Anderson. Say something like, it was my job to make sure the pot didn't boil over. I'll stay late to clean it up and make a new batch. 8. Accept the consequences and learn from your mistake. PDF download download article. 227. Face the consequences with grace and avoid repeating the mistake. Face the consequences with grace and avoid repeating the mistake. Accepting responsibility for your behavior may be scary, especially if you know there will be consequences. Take your consequences as courageously as possible, and when it's done, it's really over. You'll have learned a valuable lesson and maintained personal integrity in the process. Try to grow from the experience and avoid repeating your mistakes. 8. For example, coming clean might mean you face consequences at work or school. Or, you may have to fess up to something to your family or partner that you know will make them upset. You might know some backlash will happen but do the right thing. Say something like, I understand what I did has damaged our relationship, and I accept that you may not want to see me for a while. 9. Reflect on your behavior. PDF download download article. 229. Recognize your mistake and reflect on what may have contributed to it. Recognize your mistake and reflect on what may have contributed to it. Perhaps you had a stressful day and lashed out at someone. It is easy to displace your anger on two people who really had nothing to do with your bad mood. Maybe you jumped to conclusions about something and were wrong. Whatever it is you did, think about it and try to make any necessary changes as a result, recommends Boswell. For example, if you forgot something because you were rushed, Try to slow down or allow more time for activities. Ask yourself, what can I do to avoid this mistake in the future? 10. Get help to stay accountable. PDF download download article. 231. Ask a friend to help keep you accountable for your words and actions. Ask a friend to help keep you accountable for your words and actions. This might mean you ask someone to call you out, or you meet with them regularly to talk about accountability. Having a friend or counselor to talk to about taking responsibility can help you deal with it better and faster. 9. For example, meet with someone each week and discuss what you're doing well and struggling with. Let each other know when the other needs to accept responsibility for wrongs. Say something like, I'm trying to be more sensitive about what I say to others. Can you say something if you hear me say something overly harsh? 11. Move on from the situation. PDF download download article. 233. Remember that nobody's perfect, and everyone makes mistakes. Remember that nobody's perfect, and everyone makes mistakes. Don't linger on a mistake or continuously try to make it up to the person you hurt. 
Once you've admitted your mistake and made amends, do your best to move on from the event. Even if you made a big mistake, don't guilt yourself forever. Accept what happened, learn from it, then move on. 10. Once you've taken all the steps to make things right, don't live in guilt or shame. Let go of what happened. If your guilt over what happened is causing you a lot of distress, or you just can't seem to move on, consider seeing a counselor to help you work through it. Say to yourself, I've owned up to what I did, apologized, and accepted the consequences. It's time to move on. Expert Q&A Question How do I move on from the constant feelings of guilt? Catherine Boswell, Ph.D. Catherine Boswell, Ph.D. Licensed Psychologist Expert Answer To overcome feelings of guilt, actively engage in the practice of self-forgiveness. Consider whether you would extend the same understanding and compassion to a friend in a similar situation, grant yourself the same leniency. Additionally, take accountability for your actions and view mistakes as valuable opportunities for personal growth. Learning from these experiences is crucial to moving forward and fostering positive development. Not helpful 0 helpful 1. Question. I made a fake account on a social networking site and pretended to be an imaginary person. I said things to someone that I feel guilty about, but I told the person it was me. What should I do? Paul Chernyuk, LPC. Paul Chernyuk, LPC. Licensed Professional Counselor. Expert Answer. Seems like you already took responsibility for your actions. If they accepted your apology, you should take his as a learning experience and move on. Not helpful 3 helpful 35. Question. When you feel you're in the right and the other person feels they are in the right, how do you come to a common solution? Paul Chernyuk, LPC. Paul Chernyuk, LPC. Licensed professional counselor. Expert answer. You may just have to agree to disagree. You can let them know that you acknowledge their point of view but do not agree. However, if both of you are wrong, you can start by admitting your own mistake and taking responsibility for your part even if they don't take responsibility for theirs. Not helpful 6 helpful 30. Ask a question. Submit. Video. Tips. If you are too shy to apologize in person, send them a text or a letter. If you are sending a letter, putting in a small gift, even a sticker, may help them accept your apology. Don't assume that your boss, parent, spouse, or teacher will think the worst of you if you make a mistake. Owning up to mistakes early will earn you respect from them. It won't make them think less of you. You don't have to make a big deal out of some things. Small mistakes are easily handled by saying, Oh. That was my bad. I'm sorry. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A green box with white text description automatically generated. You might also like. Be honest. How to. Be honest. Apologize. How to. Apologize. Protect yourself from blame at work. How to. Protect yourself from blame at work. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be serious. How to. Be serious. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. 
Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. How to Stop being immature. Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to Be a responsible teen. Expert interview. A paper with text on it description automatically generated. Thanks for reading our article. If you'd like to learn more about mental health, check out our in-depth interview with Catherine Boswell, PhD. References 241 https forward slash forward slash www.mpnews.com forward slash better forward slash lifestyle forward slash how get better admitting you re wrong 10033356 242 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash what would Aristotle do forward slash 201207 forward slash stop playing the blame game. 243 https forward slash forward slash hbr.org forward slash tip forward slash 2019 forward slash 02 forward slash when you make a mistake be quick to admit it. 244 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash happiness in world forward slash 201012 forward slash how admit you're wrong. 245 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash worrywise forward slash 201207 forward slash how apologize. 246 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash pieces mind forward slash 201204 forward slash understanding validation way communicate acceptance. 247 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash positive psychology in the classroom forward slash 201304 forward slash the positive psychology making amends. 248 https forward slash forward slash greatergood.barclay.edu forward slash article forward slash item forward slash how underscore to underscore learn underscore from underscore your underscore failures. 249 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash happiness is state mind forward slash 202102 forward slash the difference between shame and accountability. More references 1. About this article. Catherine Boswell, PhD. Co authored by Catherine Boswell, Ph.D., Licensed Psychologist. This article was co-authored by Catherine Boswell, Ph.D. and by WikiHow staff writer, Amy Payne, MFA. Dr. Catherine Boswell is a licensed psychologist and a co-founder of Synergy Psychological Associates, a private therapy practice based in Houston, Texas. With over 15 years of experience, Dr. Boswell specializes in treating individuals, groups, couples, and families struggling with trauma, relationships, grief, and chronic pain. She holds a Ph.D. in Counseling Psychology from the University of Houston. Dr. Bowell has taught courses to master's level students at the University of Houston. She is also an author, speaker, and coach. This article has been viewed 475,161 times. How helpful is this? Co-authors, 64. Updated, 
the 22nd of July, 2024. Views, 475,161. Categories, Featured Articles Maturity. In Other Languages. Spanish. Italian. Russian. Thai. Chinese. Indonesian. Vietnamese. Korean. Print. Send fan mail to authors. Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 475,161 times. Did this article help you? Yes no. A screenshot of a computer program description automatically generated. Catherine Boswell, Ph.D. Co-authored by Catherine Boswell, Ph.D. Licensed Psychologist Click a star to vote. Co-authors, 64 Updated, the 22nd of July, 2024 Views 475,161 Miran Ashrafi Miran Ashrafi The 5th of September, 2018 I was looking a good article about the ways to take responsibility for mistakes. This was very complete. Rated this article. Share yours. Quizzes Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Be honest. How to. Be honest. Apologize. How to. Apologize. Protect yourself from blame at work. How to. Protect yourself from blame at work. Be mature. How to Be mature Featured articles Protect yourself from predators, for kids How to Protect yourself from predators, for kids 9 ways to cut your long hair at home 9 ways to cut your long hair at home Respond to a heart emoji How to Respond to a heart emoji Make a glitter bomb how to make a glitter bomb fold clothes how to fold clothes develop productive habits how to develop productive habits trending articles best excuses to use to explain away a hickey best excuses to use to explain away a hickey a my smart quiz a My Smart Quiz 7 Easy Ways to Know If Someone Is Online on Snapchat 7 Easy Ways to Know If Someone Is Online on Snapchat Be Cat-like How to Be Cat-like How to Effectively Crack Your Back How to Effectively Crack Your Back How to Turn a Voice Memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows how to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. Featured articles. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. Make cloud slime. How to. Make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. How happy am I quiz? How happy am I quiz? Whiten teeth with baking soda. How to. Whiten teeth with baking soda. 
What does angel number 1111 mean? What does angel number 1111 mean? Featured articles Be healthy How to Be healthy Make perfume last longer How to Make perfume last longer Appreciate yourself How to Appreciate yourself How to read a human design chart How to read a human design chart Introduce yourself in class How to Introduce yourself in class Cool yourself without air conditioning How to Cool yourself without air conditioning Wikihow Categories Education and Communications Personal Development Maturity Wikihow Newsletter Helpful How-Tos Delivered to Your Inbox Every Week Sign Me Up By signing up you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of Form Bottom of Form Home About Wikihow Experts Jobs Contact us Site map Terms of use Privacy policy Contribute Get all the best how-tos Sign up for Wikihow's weekly email newsletter Subscribe X Join us in our mission For over a decade, we've been on a mission to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to Wikihow. Let's do this. How to be tolerant of others. PDF download download article. Methods 1. Tolerating others in difficult situations 2. Developing a more tolerant outlook Other sections Video WATCH now Tips and warnings Related articles References Co-authored by Trudy Griffin, LPC, MS Last updated the 12th of August, 2024 Fact Checked Sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you find it hard to tolerate someone's actions or words. Try to understand where each person is coming from, and avoid making it into a personal battle. You can try to develop a more tolerant outlook by learning about different people, developing confidence in yourself, and coming to appreciate difference. Method 1. Tolerating others in difficult situations. PDF download download article. 267. Step 1. Try to empathize. 1. Try to empathize. A good first step to tolerating others in a tricky situation is making a conscious effort to empathize with him, and trying to see things from his perspective. You may have very different backgrounds and experiences to draw on, so what seems obvious to you might seem strange or alien to someone else. 1. 268. Step 2. Ask for an explanation. 2. Ask for an explanation. If you are talking to someone and they say something that you find hard to accept, you can figure out the other person's perspective without being intolerant or aggressive. Try to gain a better understanding of someone else's views by asking him or her to explain it to you. You might say something like, okay, tell me more about that. What makes you think that? If you do this you are being tolerant by not dismissing him or her outright and you are attempting to understand something that you find difficult. Remember that tolerance does not mean accepting unacceptable behavior. 270. Step 3. Ignore your differences. 3. Ignore your differences. 
One way to deal with a difficult situation is just to try to ignore your differences. This is a more negative kind of tolerance than learning to accept and value difference, but it can be useful. To do this you would have to avoid certain topics of conversation, or swiftly change the subject when necessary. 271. Step 4 Use I statements rather than you statements. 4. Use I statements rather than you statements. If you find yourself in a conversation with someone and you are struggling to maintain civility, it can help to avoid making accusations or assumptions about the person you are talking to. You can do this by using I statements instead of you statements. This can help to de-escalate any personal animosity and may help you be more open to each other's viewpoints. 2. For example, if you are talking about schools giving teenagers contraception, you might say I think it's sensible for schools to make contraceptives available. This is a tolerant way of expressing your opinion. Avoid making you statements such as, you're stupid for thinking that schools shouldn't give out contraception. 273. Step 5 Address a Conflict 5. Address a conflict. If you are struggling to empathize or ignore the situation, and you are finding it hard to tolerate, you can try to address it to reach some kind of resolution. If you are good friends with someone and you don't want this intolerance to derail your friendship, it's worth making the effort to find a solution together. Everyone involved will need to be prepared to make an effort and participate fully. 3. You should start by calmly describing what you find offensive or intolerable in each other's behavior or views. For example, I don't agree with your stance on gun control. You will then need to try to get a better understanding of each other's cultural perceptions. You might do this by asking something like, what experiences led you to develop your ideas about gun control? You should then explain how the issue would be dealt with in each other's culture or view. You might start by stating what you think the ideal situation might be and then allow the other person to do the same. For example, you might start by saying something like, I think that we should make it harder to obtain guns because... Then you can begin to negotiate a way forward that takes account of and respects your differences. This will be easier if there is a misunderstanding of each other's behavior, than if you hold more or less incompatible views. For example, you might start by saying something like, while I don't agree with your views, I do have a better understanding of them. Now that I know the reasons behind your beliefs, it is easier for me to understand your point of view and I am willing to move forward. Method 2 Developing a more tolerant outlook. PDF download download article. 275. Step 1 Value Difference. 1. Value Difference. An important part of developing a more tolerant outlook is learning to appreciate and value difference. People who value difference and diversity are generally more tolerant of others and are less stressed by ambiguity and uncertainty. Intolerance can effectively narrow down and simplify an ever-changing world, making it easier to comprehend because it ignores the variety and complexity. Adopting a more open-minded outlook and exposing yourself to views and cultures that are different from your own can help you to become more tolerant. Talk to people you don't know and read newspapers or websites that you don't normally look at. Talk to people of a variety of ages and cultures. 277. Step 2 Accept Uncertainty 2. Accept Uncertainty Research has shown that intolerance of ambiguity or the inability to accept uncertainty are key personality traits of people who are less tolerant of others. Research conducted on a national level has shown that countries whose people are more accepting of uncertainty tend to be more accepting of dissent, tolerant of deviance, 
less risk averse and more positive towards young people. 4. You can try to become more accepting of uncertainty by thinking more about answers than questions. The idea is that if you are always focused on finding an answer you begin to think that there is only one answer, and the answer is constant and unchanging. There are often many different answers to the same question, and if you stay open-minded and curious you will become more aware of the differences and more tolerant of this ambiguity. 5. 279. Step 3 Learn about other people and cultures. 3. Learn about other people and cultures. A good way to become a more tolerant person is to educate yourself more deeply about other people and cultures. Often when people display a lack of tolerance for somebody, it is in part because they feel alienated or uncertain about what the other person is doing or saying. Take the time to learn about different cultures and belief systems. Don't be afraid to ask questions, but always do this in a respectful and polite way. For example, you could find out about different ways of celebrating significant events. You can also expose yourself to new experiences to demystify things that might have seemed strange or alien to you before. 281. Step 4 Analyze Your Intolerant Feelings 4. Analyze your intolerant feelings. Understanding the context and roots of your intolerant feelings may help you to recognize and challenge them. Think about why you've been judgmental toward others in the past. Were you raised to believe that certain people are inferior to you, or have you had negative experiences? Diagnose why you feel a certain way about a certain group of people. For example, Perhaps you grew up in a household where it was common to hear derogatory comments about people of a certain race or religion. Or, perhaps you had some negative experiences with someone from a different race or religion and those experiences have contributed to your ideas about those people. 283. Step 5 Foster Your Own Self-Esteem 5. Foster Your Own Self-Esteem Sometimes, people may slowly grow to be intolerant of others as a result of past discrimination or social ostracization. This intolerance might be a reflection of how other people made the individual feel about themselves. If you remind yourself of your worth, you may begin to feel more secure, confident, and tolerant around different people, even if these people don't extend that same grace to you. 6. 284. Step 6 Think a difficult thought. 6. Think a difficult thought. One interesting way to try to become more tolerant is to practice dealing with thoughts that you find intolerable. This is a technique that psychologists use, and it can be a useful way to address intolerance. It works on the principle that it's hard to maintain a difficult thought and that trying to do this will help you learn to handle difficult situations. We tend to flee from or avoid difficult thoughts, which can lead to an intolerant, impatient or unsympathetic outlook. Pick a difficult thought and spend at least 10 seconds each day thinking about it. For example, if the idea of changing your religion is intolerable to you, then you might think I am going to renounce my religion and become a Buddhist or another religion that is different from your own, dot. Then analyze what happens next. Do you have a physical reaction? What are the next thoughts that come into your mind? 7. Expert Q&A Ask a question. Submit. Video. Tips. Accepting that people are different and looking for the positive in them helps us build an attitude of tolerance. One's true perfection lies in their ability to know and accept their personal imperfections. Don't forget that anything is possible and you can achieve it. Remember the golden rule, treat others how you would like to be treated. Submit a tip.
All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A person sitting at a table with a computer description automatically generated. You might also like. Strengthen character. How to. Strengthen character. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be serious. How to. Be serious. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. How to. Stop being immature. Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to. Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to. Be a responsible teen. Be emotionally independent. How to be an emotionally independent person. Accept blame when you deserve it. How to accept blame and take accountability with expert tips. References. 289 https forward slash forward slash www.nytimes.com forward slash article forward slash how to be more empathetic. html 290 https forward slash forward slash www.relationships.org. or forward slash examples of i statements how to use them forward slash 291 https forward slash forward slash www.clark.edu forward slash campus life forward slash health wellness forward slash counseling forward slash articles advice forward slash tips for managing conflict forward slash 292 https forward slash forward slash greatergood.barclay.edu forward slash article forward slash item forward slash seven underscore ways underscore to underscore cope underscore with underscore uncertainty. 293 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash the addiction connection forward slash 201411 forward slash learning tolerate life's uncertainty. 294 https forward slash forward slash www.nhs.uk forward slash mental health forward slash self help forward slash tips and support forward slash raise low self esteem forward slash 295 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash blog forward slash rethinking psychology forward slash 201501 forward slash day 3 tolerating difficult thought 10 seconds. About this article. Trudy Griffin, LPC, MS. Co-authored by. Trudy Griffin, LPC. MS. Professional Counselor. This article was co-authored by Trudy Griffin, LPC, MS. Trudy Griffin is a licensed professional counselor in Wisconsin specializing in addictions and mental health. She provides therapy to people who struggle with addictions, mental health, and trauma in community health settings and private practice. She received her MS in Clinical Mental Health Counseling from Marquette University in 2011. This article has been viewed 287,165 times. 3 votes, 100%. Co-authors, 33. Updated, 12 August, 2024. Views. 287,165 Categories, Featured Articles Prejudice Maturity In Other Languages 
Personal Development Maturity How to Demonstrate Responsibility PDF Download Download Article Methods 1. Being Responsible Day to Day 2. Interacting with Others 3. Tackling Long-Term Challenges Other Sections Expert Q&A Tips and Warnings Related Articles References Co-authored by Rachel Clissold Last updated, the 17th of March, 2024 Fact Checked Responsibility is an admirable trait that makes life better for everyone around you. It isn't only about doing your homework or feeding the dog. It's about making proper choices and doing what is right. Stay organized and consistent in your efforts to do better. Also, practice responsibility with other people and your community in order to show your character. Showing responsibility isn't always easy, but practicing and making an effort will help you improve over time. Method 1. Being Responsible Day to Day PDF Download Download Article 298 Step 1 Make a Schedule to Plan Out Your Daily Routine 1. Make a Schedule to Plan Out Your Daily Routine Everyone has their own set of tasks to complete every day. It includes small chores like cleaning your room or brushing your teeth as well as big ones like work or school. Think of what you need to do during the day and label which ones are most important. Use this list to stay organized and use your time in a more responsible way. Keep a calendar or daily planner to help you stay on top of things. There are also plenty of calendar and planner apps for your phone to use to stay on track. Set aside time for your tasks, such as by writing pick clothes up off the floor. 400-4-30. It will help you visualize what you need to do. 300. Step 2. Be reliable by doing what you agree to do. 2. Be reliable by doing what you agree to do. Whether it is last night's homework or showing up to your doctor's appointment on time, actions are a big part of responsibility. Make your promises worth their weight. When you follow through with your promises, people begin trusting that you say. Someone who backtracks on agreements is bound to seem a little sketchy. Punctuality is important. Show up when you say you will. Being late regularly makes you look unreliable. You do not have to agree to all requests. If you're asked to tackle a big project you can't handle, you are better off saying no than agreeing to it. Taking on no more than you can handle is a very responsible thing to do. 302. Step 3. Practice self-control by staying away from what you don't need. 3. Practice self-control by staying away from what you don't need. Everyone wants the fun things in life, but sometimes they aren't the right things. That fancy new pair of shoes at the store may look nice but ask yourself if you really need it. Self-control is also about making positive choices to stay out of trouble. Keep your cool and you will become known as someone with a lot of self-control. For example, self-control is like leaving the last slice of pizza behind when you're full. Avoid being impulsive. Stop yourself from taking more than you need or getting into fights. 304. Step 4. Master self-discipline to get through your chores. 4. Master self-discipline to get through your chores. School, work, and chores all come first before playing. These things usually aren't fun and you would rather be out in the sunshine. Part of being responsible is knowing when to buckle down and get to work. Remind yourself that the distractions will still be there once you have finished your work. 1. Staying disciplined is a challenge in the age of social media. Consider turning off your phone and setting it aside so you aren't tempted to check status updates when you're busy. 
306. Step 5 Show Responsibility Day After Day. 5. Show Responsibility Day After Day. Consistency is key when you're out to look responsible. Find your groove and take care of all your responsibilities day after day. Slip-ups are fine, but too much slacking makes you look irresponsible. For example, devote one hour every day to studying. Keeping that schedule is better than doing it for a week and then giving up for a month. Consistency proves that you are reliable. Making a schedule helps a lot with this, so use a planner or phone app if you need to. Method 2. Interacting with others. PDF Download Download Article. 308. Step 1. Think of the consequences before speaking or acting. 1. Think of the consequences before speaking or acting. Bad decisions often lead to a lot of new problems. Many times, you can avoid these problems by thinking about what you're about to do before you go through with it. Irresponsible people often act without realizing how they are affecting others. By thinking, you give yourself a chance to make better decisions. 2. Think twice about getting into a fight with a friend, for instance, or skipping an appointment. Bigger decisions have more severe consequences. Doing something illegal like stealing could get you in a lot of long-term trouble. If you need help figuring out the consequences, write down a list of pros and cons. Describe the good outcomes and the bad outcomes that could happen when you make a choice. 310. Step 2. Pause and reflect on your actions to see what you can do better. 2. Pause and reflect on your actions to see what you can do better. Take a time out to look back on what you have said or done, especially after a difficult decision. Most decisions affect other people, so be accountable for your choices. Consider what went right, what went wrong, and what you could do differently next time. Use what you learn to become wiser and more responsible. For instance, when you skip your homework to play, think about what you would do differently. You might think, skipping was fun, but now I have a lot of work to make up. Next time I'll get it done as soon as possible. If you hurt someone's feelings, consider why they reacted that way. You might realize, that comment was more insensitive than I realized, so I'll listen and apologize to make things better. Remember. Making changes in yourself is a process, so be patient with yourself and don't expect it to happen all at once. Just keep trying to improve a little each day. 3. 312. Step 3. Tell the truth. 3. Tell the truth to be honest with others. If you're not trustworthy, no one will ever believe you are a responsible person. Strive to be as honest as possible. Lying leads to deeper holes in the long run, so admit when you do something wrong. This can be very tough to do at times, but it's something you can handle when you're a responsible person. Small lies, like telling someone you like their new haircut, aren't a big deal. Avoid big lies that could hurt someone's feeling if you want people to trust you. 314. Step 4. Apologize. 4. Apologize for any mistakes you make. No one is perfect, and no matter how responsible you try to be, you might mess up sometimes. Instead of hiding your mistakes or blaming someone else, own them. 4. If you hurt someone, tell them you are sorry and will do better next time. 5. For example, you might forget someone's birthday. Say, I'm sorry I forgot, but I'm going to make it up to you. Lying is irresponsible and can get you into more trouble. If people know you made a mistake, you have nothing to lose by hiding it. 316. Step 5. Find solutions for problems instead of blaming others. 
5. Find solutions for problems instead of blaming others. Instead of trying to find out who is responsible for a problem, take charge and find ways to make the situation better. 6. If it was your fault, apologize first, then find a way to make it better. Problems happen, but doing nothing often makes them worse. 7. For example, say, I'm sorry we got into a fight. I think I misunderstood what you meant. Can we talk about it? Control your reactions and try to avoid snapping at people. Take a deep breath and think about what to do next. Personal attacks seem childish and don't help. Method 3. Tackling long-term challenges. PDF download download article. 318. Step 1 Become a Role 1. Become a role model by setting a good example for others. A role model is someone other people can look up to. To become a role model, strive to do your best in any situation. Be friendly, kind, and set good examples for other people. Think of what your favorite athlete, musician, or superhero would do while other people are watching. Be the person you want others to view you as. 8. For instance, treating other people with respect sets a good example. Don't scream or swear in public places, include others who seem left out, and being a role model is very important when you're around younger siblings or children. Take the opportunity to care for them and show them how to behave. It is a pretty big responsibility but one that often scores a lot of points with others. 320. Step 2 Find Ways to 2. Find ways to volunteer and improve your community. There are endless opportunities for getting involved at school or around your neighborhood. You could help other students with their homework, pick up trash, or organize events, for example. Volunteering takes a little bit of extra effort which is why it is such an effective way to make you seem more responsible. 9. If you're looking to impress your family, try helping out at home as well. Ask your family what you can do to help. Tackle some household chores to prevent that pile of dirty laundry from building up, for instance. 322. Step 3. Take on chores without being asked to do them. 3. Take on chores without being asked to do them. If you want to show responsibility, go out and grab it instead of waiting for it to come to you. Make an extra effort to show that you care about others. Use it as a chance to show people that you know what needs to be done and are willing to do it without someone telling you to. 10. For example, you could show responsibility to parents by cleaning up around the house. Do the dishes and straighten out your room. If you can do what needs to be done without being asked to do it, then you look very responsible. 324. Step 4. Accept problems and decisions you can't change. 4. Accept problems and decisions you can't change. When something goes wrong, Sometimes you have no choice but to persevere. Accepting a negative is difficult but it is possible when you're practicing responsibility. When you can't change something, fighting against it tends to create new problems and make old ones worse. Do your best to move on and find alternatives. When someone says no to you, don't pressure them to change their mind. The pressure could make them uncomfortable and think of you as immature for not respecting their decision. 326. Step 5. Stick with long-term commitments as much as you can. 5. Stick with long-term commitments as much as you can. Responsibilities, like joining a club or caring for a pet, are continual. A responsibility that seems easy at first often gets more difficult as time goes on. If you have the dedication, 
stick with a task. Stay dedicated to it after your initial enthusiasm cools off. 11. For example, you could become a leader in a volunteer organization or practice hard for your sports team. Stay with it for a while and don't neglect your commitment. A long-term commitment doesn't have to be forever. Try to set a length of time, such as a year, to keep it up. If you absolutely have to quit, be graceful about it. Expert Q&A Question How do you demonstrate responsibility in the workplace? Dawn Smith Camacho Dawn Smith Camacho Career and Life Coach Expert Answer Plan out your long-term goals. Think about what you want your life to be like, then come up with specific, actionable steps you need to take to get there. Then, keep making progress until you hit those goals, at which point, it's time to set new ones. Not helpful 1 Helpful 2 Question What does it mean to demonstrate responsibility? Dawn Smith Camacho Dawn Smith Camacho Career and Life Coach Expert Answer Responsibility is all about focusing on what you can change. So, spend some time thinking about what is yours to control, and what isn't. Focusing on things you can't control can make you feel anxious, but identifying the things you can change can help make it easier to take steps to reach your goals. Not Helpful 1 Helpful 7 Question What can I do if I was really irresponsible in the past? How can I move forward? Rachel Clissold Rachel Clissold Certified Life Coach Expert Answer The first step is acceptance. We've all got a path, things to work out, and you should accept what happened, rather than potentially judging it. Have love, acceptance, and compassion for yourself. Moving forward, take ownership of your decisions and mistakes. Not helpful to helpful for. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Showing responsibility is important for anyone convincing their parents to let them do something, such as get a new cell phone. If you show responsibility, you will have a better chance of changing their minds. Mistakes happen and it's okay if you make some. Stick with your attempts to be responsible and look for ways to improve. You don't need to invest in anything fancy to keep yourself on track. A cheap planner or calendar is more than enough. Show more tips. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A person sitting on a couch looking at a tablet description automatically generated. Warnings. Responsibility takes consistent effort and you could get overwhelmed if you try to do too much all at once. Keep your duties in mind, but remember to have fun too. Some responsibilities are big deals and you can't commit to them half-heartedly. If you're not prepared to care for a pet, commit to a team, or so on, find different alternatives to avoid letting people down. You might also like Be responsible How to Be responsible Accept blame when you deserve it How to accept blame and take accountability with expert tips Be mature How to Be mature Be serious How to Be serious Blame shifting What is blame shifting? Plus how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. How to 
Stop being immature. Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to Be a responsible teen. Be emotionally independent. How to be an emotionally independent person. Be tolerant of others. How to Be tolerant of others. References 336 https forward slash forward slash link dot springer dot com forward slash article forward slash ten dot one thousand and seven forward slash s zero zero four two six dash zero two two dash zero one seven one one w 337 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash think confident be confident forward slash 201106 forward slash think you react 338 Dawn Smith Camacho Career and Life Coach Expert Interview the 13th of May, 2020. 339 Rachel Clissold. Certified Life Coach. Expert Interview. The 26th of August, 2020. 340 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash articles forward slash 200207 forward slash the power apology 341 Rachel Clissold Certified Life Coach Expert Interview The 26th of August 2020 342 https forward slash forward slash hbr.org forward slash 2022 forward slash 02 forward slash blame culture is toxic here's how to stop it. 343 https forward slash forward slash raising children dot net dot or forward slash preteens forward slash behavior forward slash encouraging good behavior forward slash being a role model. 344 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash kids forward slash volunteering.html More references, too. About this article. Rachel Clissold. Co-authored by. Rachel Clissold. Certified Life Coach. This article was co-authored by Rachel Clissold. Rachel Clissold is a life coach and consultant in Sydney, Australia. With over six years of coaching experience and over 17 years of corporate training, Rachel specializes in helping business leaders move through internal roadblocks, gain more freedom and clarity, and optimize their company's efficiency and productivity. Rachel uses a wide range of techniques including coaching, intuitive guidance, neurolinguistic programming, and holistic biohacking to help clients overcome fear, break through limitations, and bring their epic visions to life. Rachel is an acclaimed Reiki Master Practitioner, qualified practitioner in NLP, EFT, hypnosis and past life regression. She has created events with up to 500 people around Australia, United Kingdom, Bali, and Costa Rica. This article has been viewed 115,476 times.